What's up, Amazon sellers? If you are looking for software which can help you scan a large list of products from your wholesaler, distributor, or manufacturer, then let me share with you Scan Unlimited, which is the software we have been using in my wholesale business that can help speed up your deal analysis process. If you want to see how to use it, then stay tuned. Right, if you don't know who I am, my name is Thomas Parkinson, and I've been selling on Amazon now, doing online arbitrage for the last five years. Now in the UK, I'm a seven-figure Amazon seller, and in the USA, I'm a six-figure Amazon seller. And hopefully in the near future, we're going to expand into another marketplace. And if you're interested in learning how I've done it and what I'm doing, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. But also as well, we've been actually growing our wholesale side in the UK as well hence the video today. But hey, enough about me. What are we going to talk about today? Well, first things first, number one, let me give you a little bit of a backstory. Number two, let me talk to you about what is Scan Unlimited. Number three, I'm going to go through some pros and cons of Scan Unlimited and, and the way it works. And before I'm actually going to jump on the computer and we'll give you a screen share of actually how to use Scan Unlimited, set it up, talk it through and do a live scan with you. And then finally, number five, I'm going to share some top tips and tricks that are going to help you out using this tool and obviously in your wholesale business as well. So let's get started. First things first, let's give you a little bit of background. Now, if you follow my journey, you might understand that I actually started off about five years ago doing the wholesale model before online arbitrage, but it didn't really work out. I didn't have a good experience because of small margins. Now, after learning from that experience, which led me to doing online arbitrage, which is what I'm currently doing, and obviously scaling that to seven figures every year, for now, we're re-looking at the wholesale model. Now, what I will say is that after months of sweat from consistent hard work and basically having an amazing team, we were able to hit two million pounds worth of sales in 2021 doing the online arbitrage model. And now we've done over three million in the last 12 months. So I'm super, super happy with that. Now, the one thing which we've seen is that it becomes harder and harder to buy products in bulk during online arbitrage, hence why we looked at moving, or should we say not moving, investing into the wholesale model again and getting that to work, and hence why in the video today. Now, you might be asking, why do we use Scan Unlimited? Well, quite simply, if you haven't done wholesale before, or if maybe you're getting started, what happens? Well, you go to a supplier and they're going to give you, as you say, an Excel file, or a CSV file, a big kind of document with lots of products on. And this should say, software is going to really support you in scanning those thousands of items on that list in one go. Now, what does this mean? Well, it means where she say we're not manually going through each individual product, but you know, that's a time consuming one. But what we are doing is analyzing the list of deals using Scan Unlimited first to get a good guide of show you how many opportunities exist. And then what we might do is go back over and code manually. But the first wave will always be Scan Unlimited using a tool like this, which is going to help us analyze a large number of deals on bulk very, very quickly. Okay, guys, so today I'm talking about using Scan Unlimited in this how-to guide. And quite simply, what I understand is I'm still learning very much about this business. You know, we've grown away. We know what we're doing there. We're still learning about wholesale. And I'm learning from other people, and I'd like to learn from you. Question for you, are there any other tools that you're using other than Scan Unlimited that maybe you think I should know about? Let me know in the comments down below. I'm interested to see maybe what you recommend. Let me know in the comments down below if you recommend anything else other than Scan Unlimited. Now, this leads me nicely onto my second chapter, which is what what is Scan Unlimited? Well, quite simply, Scan Unlimited is a tool that is built to quickly scan, you say, wholesale, distributed, manufacturer product lists to find profitable, preferably fast selling products on Amazon, or maybe unprofitable if that's what you're looking for. Like I said earlier, in wholesale, you're going to be, should say, provided with a list of big Excel sheet, thousands of items by your distributor, which you've got to analyze. And you know, these can be a thousand, ten thousand, maybe even a hundred thousand. This is going to take a lot of time, but with Scan Unlimited, it's going to make your deal analysis faster. So since it's going to go through that product listing pretty quickly and obviously filter for profitable listings. Now, this leads me nicely on to the pros and the cons of Scan Unlimited. So let's kind of go through that now. So first things first, one thing which I will say is, is that I like about Scan Unlimited is that it does save a lot of time since it filters today profitable listings are based on your criteria. And we'll go through that in a bit on the live screen share. If you think about when you're going through each item, you can focus on products that are going to be profitable. And then from there, we can do more deal analysis afterwards. And, and obviously, that's going to give you more time to focus on maybe finding new suppliers, negotiating better discount, but you're not spending all the time doing the analysis. In addition to that, if you are hesitant to pay for the subscription, you know, I've got a, should we say, a free trial where you can have, you know, scan unlimited trial for one month. And, and what I'll do is I'll drop that in the comments down below. So do check that out. You know, for 
for me, in my business, you know, the, the kind of process we look at in this is really to use the Scan Unlimited first, get a good guide of the number of deals, and we need the, the kind of criteria quite broad, and then we can go and do the manual review. So it really helps speed up that process. But also that kind of leads me nicely on to, should we say, maybe the cons of using Scan Unlimited. So one of the cons, or should we say, some of the cons of using Scan Unlimited that we've experienced there are times when, should we say, the EA end of the supplier doesn't match with the EA on Amazon. That's not necessarily Scan Unlimited's problem, but obviously it is a problem that the software should you know, maybe overcome. Now, with that being the case, we've got to manually source again to avoid mismatch items or even check those items that haven't been checked. Now, one of the other cons might be the case that Scan Unlimited does have a fee. It's not a free software and it does cost $40 per month. So if you're looking, say, for example, something for free, this isn't really going to be the best option for you because you know, obviously there is a cost. But again, what I will say is you can use my one month free trial. Have a look at the links down below. But the way, what I will say is on reflection, the cons is that you're really really using this to reduce down the time, it's not going to be perfect. There is no perfect solution. So this is about getting you to the good deals or removing the bad deals first, and then you can do the manual processing on the good deals. Still, that manual processing is a bit of a con. We'd like it to be perfect, but hey, nothing in this world is perfect. And it's that's where you're going to make the value by doing you know, the detailed checking. Now, this leads me nicely onto my fourth chapter, which is actually now how to use Scan Unlimited. Now, what I will do now is I'll jump on the computer and we'll do a screen share and you know show you how to use Scan Unlimited step by step step and just kind of talk you through like what how we use it what how we set it up and, and kind of a bit of an overlay around the, the user interface so let's jump on the computer now and let's go through that screen share first thing first once you've created the account you're on the kind of should say the, the dashboard which is where we are now and you've got things like you know items scanned files uploaded you know, you know the membership type you've got over here and obviously like any other features so you can do like light and dark you know if you want so we'll keep it light for the moment so obviously you've got like help and any notifications and obviously your account up top right so first things first just make sure you set up the right marketplace so for us uk um, and obviously new you know where you, you know, should they condition you so that's what we're doing once you've got that obviously if you are doing like exchange rate in the us and uk you can see that there and also any recent scans you've done so you can kind of like reload them if you want to have a look is helpful now on the left hand side we've got like the dashboard scans down here you know product folders so which is going to help you understand settings and like your discord and of the channels they've got which is helpful so let's start a new scan and let's go here so let's add in so i'll just quickly add in now a new product file that we've got and drop it in so let's do that quickly there we go and obviously you can see it's just loaded up it's like an excel file now it kind of brings it all in and it kind of shows you the headers within the file itself so You've got the options down here, which is called search by. So what are you looking to identify to search by? So like, you know, like for us in the UK, or we're doing EAN, so we'd say EAN, but obviously you've got UPC, ASIN, keyword searching if you want to, you can do lots of different ways. Now you can obviously put a name for it as well. Um, and then also you've got to select the product ID. So like where we said EAN, which column is actually the EAN? So obviously ours is called EAN, that's helpful, but it might be called barcode, for example. Now, obviously, you've got things like Marketplace. If you're going to change that, you know, we're, we're scanning the UK Marketplace against those EANs. Um, the cost column, also, we need to put in there. So we've got like price, we'll get that here. Unit price, fantastic. Um, currency, British pounds, any cut and columns, and the condition is new. So that's fine. Um, and then that's pretty much it. You know, if you're VAT registered, drop that as well. For us, we don't do it at the moment. We kind of just double check it on scanning. So when you're ready, just click Start. And obviously, what it's going to do is scan. So it'll go through that whole kind of that list of EANs, scan it against the UK marketplace with the price and try and give you the results. So you can see there it's just gone 5% and then completed. So let's now jump into that and actually kit. So we can see here actually it's done 1,181. And obviously, it's click on it, load it up. So voila, lots of information. Now, what you've got here is quite simply products itself. So it's pulled in the amalgamation of the sheet and also the data from Amazon and brought it together. So if we just kind of go through the things, we've got like the graph, you can hover over like an image, also a link as well, you can go to Amazon. And then we've got obviously the EAN, which is obviously the supplier, the cost, any discount if we've applied it, the re relevant Amazon ASIN, the title, the brand, but lots of other stuff like reading, re re reviews and sales rank. Now obviously it does seem like a lot of information and, and you know, I will say it is, but obviously you can filter. So you can kind of go through and, and, and have a look that's going to help you out. So we'll just kind of scroll across. But you know, for you, like if it is too much information, don't worry. What you can do is obviously start filtering it. So Let's say, for example, if we want to remove certain columns, let's click on the filter icon up here. And um, what we want to be doing really is just choosing the, the columns maybe we want to show or should we say hide. So just kind of scroll down, have a look. So you might just click on the little eye icon. It's going to remove something. 
and we're like, fine. Kind of remove bits and bobs, just gonna scroll down. And once you click off, obviously it's gonna update, so it's gonna remove those filters, fantastic. Or not remove the filters, it's gonna, yeah, it's gonna remove those columns. What we wanna do now is choose a filter for the results. So we're seeing all the data we want, but now we just wanna filter for it. So obviously we don't want like, you know, non profitable items or maybe you know, products which aren't selling. So let's look at sales for uh, sales rank. So first things first, let's look at sales rank is less than or equal to, um, let's kind of jump it in there. You know, we might say 100,000 in the UK, we don't wanna go above 100,000, cool. Um, and that's fine, so we'll click add on that. Now you see it hasn't actually applied yet. Top left, you've got that apply filter, so it's a pending filter. So you kind of add all your filters in first and then you click apply. So let's kind of go across to offers count. Now this is like how much competition there is, so let's click on that. So let's do less than or equal to, and let's kind of just put in here like, we don't want any more than say 15 competitors, great. But also as well, we want to make sure that it's not private label. So let's put in there greater than or equal to, and let's say, you know, at least, let's call it two, for example. So that's fine, we click add, and there you go, cool. And that's another filter we put in. Let's kind of have a little look through. And then the other one we probably want is looking at like profitability. So for example, net profit, and let's say, for example, right now, you know, we might just say greater than or equal to, I don't know, we'll call it one pound. It might be like less than you think, because remember you can negotiate discounts on top of this. So we're just gonna put one pound in and then ROI. Let's say greater than or equal to, I don't know. We put it as like a low value. I don't know, what should we put in here? Let's call it like, I don't know, 15%. And again, you might think that's really low, but if you get one pound profit, 15 to an ROI, you can always go back and negotiate better profits. So if you're all happy, let's click apply filters. So remember we wanna give ourselves good options, apply the filters, and then we can start doing the review on them. So quite simply, we've got all the results here, and these are all of the listings which should say meet that criteria, which is gonna be really important because it's now taken like a thousand results down to like, you know, I think it's 130. So for here, what we can now do is go through and do a manual check, and that's obviously gonna help us out. So we've got here like sales rank, and then we can have a little look through. We got like profits and ROI, so that all were looking good there as well. These are the results, we've got like 130 of them. But I think for us as well, it's like, you know, you can go through and do that manual check. The other thing which I'll say is, once you've got this, you can save them to a folder, maybe for later checking, or maybe the products you'd like. So you can tick the boxes over here, certain products you'd like, and then you can add to folder, create a new folder, for example, like, I don't know, great deals, let's call that. And also you can come back to them later on. Maybe they're replenishables, or ones that you, you want to negotiate the discounts with. Absolutely fine. Now, also as well, see, like right now we've got 25 in a page. You can just change that and call it 100. You know, click on that, and that's going to increase it up to you know 100. So for us, I think we've got about 130 deals on here. Taking it to 100 is going to be helpful. So my top tip, once you've got to this thing, is now to load up all the products individually. Do your manual check. And the, the top tip I'll kind of add to that. One thing we're doing is we're looking at those products whereby we want to spend at least like a thousand pounds or a thousand dollars. And then what we're doing is we're going back to the manufacturer and trying to negotiate better discounts on them. Why? Because we're buying a bit more bulk. So that's why we probably put maybe like one pound, 15% ROI, and just because the price you see isn't necessarily the price you pay, and the net result is we want to kind of make them better. So, or better prices. So that's my top tip. And that's pretty much it. So look, my top tip from here is once you've kind of done the scan and what you might've noticed, and I said it earlier on, I'll say it again, put in like a, a value which is lower than what you're looking for. So let's say for example, you're after like two pound profit, 20% ROI minimum, put in like one pound and 15, go a bit lower and then look for those products whereby they're selling really well. And then what I'd really recommend is go back to the manufacturer and try and negotiate a discount to, you know, say, hey, this product, I'm happy to buy X amount if I buy it for this price. Also, you'd have to go to your calculator tool and work out like what price it needs to be to make it two pound profit, 20% ROI per item. But there's no reason why you can't go back to the manufacturer, distributor or wholesaler and say, I'll buy this much if you give me this price. So just by making your scan unlimited scans a little bit wider, what you can then do is obviously understand like, you know, these products are the products which are potential and then obviously you can negotiate. And because if you understand anything about wholesale, the price you see isn't necessarily the price you pay, you can negotiate. And that's something we're definitely learning within my business. Right, today we're talking about scan unlimited and wholesale. Now, the one thing which 
off that is if you looked at you know my journey and what I've been doing, we do OA, we're now doing seven figures. We did three million pounds in sales, about four million US in the last 12 months in the UK, and also started in the USA. And, and, and how do we do this? Well, quite simply, I've got a team. I've got a team of virtual assistants. They're working you know five days a week, 40 hours a week doing this, looking for products, speaking to suppliers. They're doing all the purchasing, everything. Now, for me and my wholesale business, which we just started out over the last couple of months, is we're doing the process I've explained now and on that screen share. But in addition to that, once we find those deals, it's my team of VAs who are going through those deals. They're looking at the analysis and they're paying back the products. They're like, Tom, this is a great product. Profit's slightly off. Can we go back and negotiate? And they're building that list. So Scan Unlimited is a great starting point. But the next step is analyzing those deals. You know, that's a time consuming process, but that's where the money's made. Now, the question I'd ask for you is if, if you're doing it yourself, it's OK, but it's not really sustainable. I'd really recommend getting someone else to do it for you, teaching them how you're doing that analysis, because my God, they're going to be doing it all the time. And that's going to be building a sustainable business. Now, if you're interested in hiring a virtual assistant, look no further than Fast Track FBA VA Academy. This is a service I created whereby we find, hire and train VAs to work in your business. Now, if you want to know, we have over 500 VAs that we've placed with our clients over the last 12 months. Majority of them, I won't lie, is doing OA, but deal analysis is deal analysis. And we've also had quite a lot of wholesale clients come in and use the deal analysis skills of our VAs to do that checking process. It's really, really helped. Now, if you want to know, we've also got a 12 week support period whereby we help you get results with your VA. Any problems, you just message us. Our team will jump on and help your VA get up to standard. If you want to know more and book a free 30 minute consultation call, then have a look at the link down below. Fast Track FBA VA Academy. Trust me, I think you're going to love it. It's game changing. I built a great business and my God, 250 of our clients have also built another great business. If you do the math, that's two VAs per client. Why? Because they understand it works. They're buying one VA, they see it works, they come back, they're buying another one. You too can scale your business as well. Check it out today, the Fast Track FBA VA Academy. Now, this leads me nicely onto my fifth chapter, which is the top tip for you. So what do I recommend? Well, look, first things first, number one, search by EAN, barcode, whatever it is, obviously UK, USA, UPC, keywords, and you know the product description. You know, Like I said before, we're given you know, the product list, and now our job is to analyze the items you know, using Scan Unlimited. And then once that gives us the results, we've got to go through and you know really make sure that those of deals and obviously we can go back and negotiate prices. Now, in order to search for the product list on Amazon, you know, we are searching for EAN keywords and description to obviously make sure that we're getting matches between the supplier list and the Amazon itself to find as many profitable products as possible. Now, number two, what I'd really recommend is just, you know, hide any unnecessary criteria. I did it in the video. What I will say is there is a lot of information. My God, I have so much information in Scan Unlimited and it can be overwhelming. But that being the case, you've got to make it simple for you. You know, business is about making it simple, not complex. Make the necessary adjustments such as hiding, you know, relevant criteria and relevant columns. And by doing this, this is just going to, as you say, make it easier easier for you to do a deal analysis and speed up your deal analysis process and make you more efficient. Now, the third top tip for you is once you've done your deal analysis using, should we say, Scan Unlimited, jump over to Amazon, use an Amazon, should we say, calculator, check the data. Sometimes Amazon or should we say Scan Unlimited might show different data, i.e. price on Amazon might be different. You know, when we actually did it, it didn't work out the same price sometimes. So you've got to be checking those, you know, different products, those ROIs in order to make sure that what Scan Unlimited is saying is correct. Don't just assume it is correct. Now, for that, you can use tools like SAS, FBA Multitool, or Bybot Pro, for example, to make sure that you're getting the right, you know, the data coming out of Scan Unlimited is correct, and obviously to stop you from losing money. Now, the fourth top tip I will share with you, and you know, I've said it before and I'll say it again. Once you've got those products that you like, go back to your supplier, negotiate, say, hey, I'll buy more, you know, or I need it at this price. Can you do me a discount on this? Ask for the discount. One thing we're learning about wholesale is the price you see is not necessarily the price you're going to be paying. And generally, the more money you can put down, the better discounts you're going to be getting. And hey, my God, discounts mean you make more savings on the purchases. That means more profits when you sell it. And obviously, that means more profits obviously on your bottom line. There's an old saying, you make your money when you buy, not when you sell. And I think that is very valid in the wholesale game. Now, what I will say is after understanding how to use Scan Unlimited, you might want to learn about, you know, should you say scaling your Amazon business, you know, you doing the wholesale model. What I'll do is I'll drop a video around here of my interview with an Amazon seller at Amazon Lit, who had done $50 million over the last 12 months, which is absolutely insane. You can learn how they've done it and what they're doing with their Amazon business and how they started from the garage. Now they're doing multiple million dollar revenues in their warehouse every single year. Check out that video. I think you're going to love it. But hopefully you've liked this video. If you have, give me a big thumbs up. And hey, if you want to see more videos like this, hit the subscribe.
subscribe button down below. But for myself, Thomas Parkinson and Fast Track FBA, thank you very much.